Hey everyone, Cody here, and yes, another talking video. I promise the next video you'll see will be a painting video. Now, first off, before I get into the video, which will be about putting gesso on a painting service, I wanted to talk about the fact that we are almost at 1,500 subscribers. By the time you watch this video, that might have already happened, but when we hit that, I will make another announcement video, but I will be doing a Pollock style painting once we hit 1500 because again every 500 i want to do that for you guys large scale pollock style painting coming soon now let's get into the video today's video topic is should you put gesso on a surface that you want to paint on now if you don't already know what gesso is if you're just kind of getting into painting or you're just you know kind of learning about it or you've never really heard the term gesso which is g-e-s-s-o uh is a basically a substrate that goes on a surface before you paint on it to adhere the paint to that surface. Now, most canvases, and I've got one here, uh, have gesso on them. So this white stuff that is on the canvas is the gesso because you can tell that on the back it does not have that. That's why this is kind of more of a cotton linen color as opposed to the front, which is white because it has gesso on it. Now, let's talk about uh, if you should put it on there and what you would use it for if you did. Well, obviously it's really a choice thing. It depends on your preference. If you want, if you're going to use a surface that already has gesso on it, like say that pre-primed uh, canvas, then no, there is no need for you to put gesso on a pre-primed already gessoed surface. There is no need for it. So no, you don't need to put that on there if you don't want to. However, what I will say about, say, low quality uh, canvases like that, that was a, you know, a value canvas. And the, the only problem that I have with a surface that has already been pre-primed that's kind of a lower quality is that if you bought it value, then the gesso on that uh, canvas is probably also a cheaper gesso. And while this may not be that big a deal, uh, there's a couple of things that I've seen happen with this. One, it, it can crack. Um, so I've gotten canvases where the gesso is actually cracked uh, because, you know, it, it's, a, it's kind of brittle, right? It's not pliable like a higher quality gesso would be. Second is that it's very thin. So you can sometimes wear through it very easily or if you paint on it, it doesn't adhere to the paint as well as a more expensive gesso would. So if you're just making paintings just to learn painting or if you're just making paintings for yourself or you're making cheap quality, you know, low kind of low quality paintings anyway, or you're going to cover up that gesso very heavily, then no, you probably don't need to put more gesso on an already pre-primed surface. Okay, so that would be kind of my point to it. Next, let's talk about, you know, the use of gesso and what you would use it for. So. If you already have a surface that's already pre-primed, the answer is no, you don't need to add more gesso to it if you don't want to. However, let's talk about the reason why you would add more gesso to an already primed surface. Well, the reason you would add more gesso to an already primed surface is to create depth. Or if you want to use a higher quality gesso than what is already on the canvas, then this is why you would add gesso to a pre-primed surface. So gesso generally comes in like a, a tub and I don't have any on here. Maybe I'll put a picture here, uh, but gesso comes in a tub and it's it's almost like a plaster, but it's not quite as, as stiff um, or as hard as plaster. Gesso tends to be kind of like slime almost where it's uh, very pliable. There's a timer going off. It's gonna go off for about a minute. So I'm just gonna keep talking over it. Okay. so. Basically, the gesso is almost like a, pl a plaster, but when it dries, it's not as hard. It's, it's kind of soft and, and it creates, you know, very soft mountains, if you will. A lot of people will tend to use gesso on a surface to create the effect of illusion or 3Dism. And so they will use gesso on an already gessoed surface to create a depth so that when they paint over it, especially with abstract, uh, when they paint over it, 
you know, it's not just a flat painting. It's got different depths to it. It's almost like looking at a topographical map uh, when that map has different, uh, you know, points on it and stuff like that. So it almost gives it like a terrain type feel to it. So people will add gesso to an already primed surface to one, either cover up bad gesso or two, to give it depth. And so I know I've seen videos of people who put gesso on canvas that already has it to give it that depth. And so maybe they'll, you know, do it in different sections or they'll just use a, a small scraper and scrape parts of it with the gesso just to break up the painting and to make it a little bit different than the average painting, which is usually flat. Now, I personally don't use gesso for that, so I have used it and I've only used it a few times, but then I kind of got away from it. And now... Let's talk about, uh, you know, whether or not you should use gesso. And then we'll kind of come back to my final point. It's really up to you. I don't personally use gesso. My paintings are generally pretty flat. I mean, if you've ever seen any of my videos, uh, you know, I used, I used a uh, canvas that's already pre-primed most of the time. And I just put, you know, the paint right on there. I don't usually re-gesso it. Now, the point out of that is really because the type of paint I use, the gloss enamel, is very sticky already. So it's, it's already going to stick to that surface very well, and it's going to cover it up pretty well because it's very thick paint. Even though it's very runny, it's very viscostic and very you know thick paint. So it, it's going to cover it. It's going to hide a lot of that gesso, even if it was cheap gesso. Okay. Also, I almost always like pre-prime with enough paint to cover all of that so you don't see it. So even if I don't prime the painting, I use enough paint to cover the surface so you don't even see that. Um, so I generally don't. Um, I know a lot of artists that don't, you know, they don't add more gesso to an already pre-primed surface. What they'll do is they'll put a base coat down to kind of cover it up and then they'll paint on top of that. I mean, a lot of artists do this kind of to create a toned background anyway or a toned ground. And a lot of them will, will kind of do this with a color set and then they'll kind of put the painting on top of that. So I personally don't. Um, it's really up to you if you want to create depth or if you want to just put better gesso over something that might not be as good. Totally your call. And because my painting is already going to be flat and because the gloss enamel that I use is very, very adhesive anyway, I don't personally do it. Now, lastly, let's talk about surfaces that don't already have gesso on them. So these would be surfaces like glass or plexiglass or uh, wood, you know, uh, panel, some kind of panel, or even paper. You know, um, I don't personally put gesso on paper. Um, and the disadvantage to that is that the paper can warp because of the weight of the paint. And because the paint that I use is very liquidy, when it fills it, because it's so wet, it tends to start to warp the, the paper. This is a common problem I have, and I've talked about it in other videos. But I also use watercolor paper instead of acrylic paper, which acrylic paper is very thick compared to watercolor paper. So it's, it's really my fault, but I had bought a bunch of watercolor paper and didn't know what to do with it, so I've just been using it anyway. This was suggested to me recently by a subscriber, so I'm going to call them out. Uh, thank you hardy uh, but basically they said that they put gesso on the paper to make it a little thicker and to prevent warping i have not tried this and i probably won't just because i don't use gesso so i never have it on hand so i just don't carry gesso so the warping issue i just fix by pressing it once it's dry on a flat surface and that generally flattens it out so that's that's uh you know this is something i've dealt with now let's talk about some of these other surfaces wood or uh, you know, using on, you know, raw canvas actually is probably a huge one. Do you prime raw canvas? Again, it's up to you and the materials you're using. So if you're using raw canvas, linen or cotton or otherwise, if you're using raw canvas and you do not prime it, you do run the risk of the paint falling off of that surface. The whole point of gesso is just like in your house. When you have how, when you have your house built and you have the drywall put up and then the mud, you have to put primer over that stuff to get the paint to stick to that surface. If you just paint over drywall, it just kind of absorbs or it falls off, right? It doesn't really stick. It doesn't cover it very well and it doesn't really stay on there very well. It kind of either absorbs into the drywall to make it soggy or it just doesn't really stick at all and it kind of peels off. 
that is the whole point of gesso on a, on a surface. So if you don't put paint, or sorry, gesso on a surface and you just paint right on that surface, you run that risk of the paint falling off. And because every type of paint is different, I can't tell you whether or not you should gesso each surface. However, I would say if you're using the normal types of paints like acrylic or, or uh, oil, most likely you're going to want to put gesso on that surface. Now, you could probably get away with it with maybe wood because wood is a very porous surface. Um, I have gotten paint on wood and it doesn't come off. But again, I use gloss enamel, which is basically house paint. It's very thick. And it, and it sticks to everything. It ruins anything it touches pretty much. It's very, very hard to get off. And even if I get it off, there's still stains. So that's just something I run into using gloss enamel. But if you're using acrylic or oil, I'm going to suggest to you that yes, you do use gesso. You can try it without. It's totally your call. You can do whatever you want. You're the artist. But I'm going to recommend that you probably prime it with something. You can try different primers. You can try house primer if you really wanted to. But I would say, yes, you're probably going to want to put gesso on a surface that doesn't already have it. Now, of course, they have, you know, birch, you know, wood that you can buy that's already primed. Or, you know, you can get other surfaces and stuff like that that are already primed. Or maybe you don't need primer because of the materials you're using. Again, it all comes down to what you're using. Again, if you're using something like gloss enamel or house paint like I do, that sticks to a lot of surfaces without gesso. But even still, I usually will try to put gesso on uh, surfaces that I think it's not going to adhere to because it's a primer. If you're using acrylic oil, I would say probably you probably will want to use it just because it's going to help adhere that to the surface. So ultimately, I hope that helps you. Uh, again, to just a real quick recap, um, I don't use gesso on pre-primed surfaces. I do use gesso on surfaces that are not primed for the most part, um, but it all comes down to the materials you use and what you are trying to do. If you wanna create that depth, if you wanna go over cheap gesso with better quality gesso, then yes, feel free to do that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I just wanna kinda of talk about that because it's been brought up in my comments and I really want to address the comments hopefully to maybe help somebody out there uh, but that's pretty much it for the video again guys i appreciate your support thankful for everybody that watches these videos um, and i we're, we're closing in on 1500 subscribers i will do a pollock style painting at 1500 i've already got it set up and ready to go so i'm just waiting for that to happen and uh that's pretty much it guys again thank you for all your support if you like the videos please like them share them do whatever subscribe all that cool stuff and i will catch you guys in the next video thank you uh, thank, thank care. Thank you. Take care. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.